Hello everybody, I'm Major Monotone, and with me is Eternal Life Partner, the T. Hello! Oops, shit. We're, we're playing- <laughs> yes, there was a meowing cat there. We're playing Chameleon Twist, a forgotten Mario 64 clone for the Nintendo 64. It's, uh, interesting, but it's not very good. Yay! So, let's just leap right into it. You have a bunch of characters. They all control exactly the same way. I think they're different files. Wait, what's the what's on the orange guy's stomach? A number. Oh, to me it looked it looked like a like fucked up swastika. No, it does kind of look like that. But no, they're numbered one through four. We're playing as the um, blue one because he stands out more against the backgrounds. Hey, look at those Japanese quotation marks. <laughs> yeah, this is the opening cutscene. It it doesn't matter. Basically, there's a white rabbit, we're gonna chase it. it. Who cares? We're the chameleon. We're just basically gonna go fuck up Alice in Wonderland. No, there, this is the only Alice in Wonderland reference in this game. Yeah, because we fucked it up. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, the white rabbit's gonna go in this suspicious pot. And for some reason, we're gonna follow him. And somehow we can leap 20 feet into the air. Um, I'm, I don't know if you've ever seen a chameleon before, but they, they can do that. Really? Yeah. In, in fact, it bothers me how much this looks like a chameleon. Oh. <laughs> except that it's blue. I, I mostly have experience blue. with iguanas, so it's a good thing to hear. Uh, yeah, so there oh. we are. We've turned into a human chameleon. Okay, yeah, that doesn't look anything like a chameleon. No. So uh, I hope you didn't get to attach to that model of chameleon. Funny fact, though, that model of chameleon actually had a number two on its stomach. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so he can send you- he says to go to the training room if you want to practice, but you actually can't go there once you've started the game. You have to select it from the main menu, so that's kind of useless advice. But let's talk about the game itself. Uh, it's a platformer, you can jump, you can collect crowns. Uh, you need 20 in each level to 100% it, but there's usually more than 20. Your main method of do interacting with the environment is your extremely long tongue. Hold, hold on, hold on. Are you killing hedgehogs? Yeah. I don't approve of this game. Yeah, fuck you, Sonic. No. <laughs> anyway, so you can, you can grab enemies, you can spit them out, and you can control your tongue any way oh, with wait, the can, control stick. Can, can you draw a penis with your tongue? No, it's uh, not long enough. For that. Worst, worst game ever. Anyway, so you can use your tongue to cross gaps like this by grabbing on the poles. And you can also uh, stand on your tongue to get a higher jump, we'll see that a little more later. Sometimes your tongue gets stuck to things you don't want it to get stuck to, because this is not a very good game. I've had that experience before. It's like a Christmas story. Yes. So we're gonna hop across these lily pads, and then we're gonna fall, but it doesn't <laughs> matter because the water doesn't matter, it just slows you down a bit. So does using your tongue to go across the thing. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, over there, that's a heart. It'll restore your health, but we haven't taken any damage yet. The damage in this game is weird. It's tied to your lives. You basically have, like, ten lives. And every time you get hit, you lose one. It's a little strange. So it kind of right? follows, like, a Contra type of thing? Yeah. So there's a crown up there. I'm going to be getting probably 20 crowns in every level. This level actually has 25. I don't know where the other 5 are. So, but it doesn't matter because you only need 20. The other 5 are entirely non-essential. But we have, to, we have to go for a 250% uh, score. Yeah, I, I don't actually care enough about this game. D does it actually rank the score in any way beyond 100? Uh, no. It just measures how many crowns you got. Yeah, I don't think these people understand what 100% means. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if those fish can hurt you, but the waterfall does push you down. You're clearly the expert on this game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I realize that there's a thing down here, and watch this. Expert play! Woo. Yeah. Oh, so you go back a little bit when you get when you die. Yeah, but usually not too much. Yeah, there's crowns. Anyway, this game... I mean, it's interesting. It was one of the first, uh... Mario 64 clones there was. Oh, and just so you know, they put there's a split path and there's uh, crowns on both parts. So. I think calling this a Mario 64 clone is being a bit generous. <laughs> I oh, mean, okay. this is more like one of those isometric platformers, but just in 3D. Like, the, yeah. this, this is basically like Sonic 3D Blast. 
<laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're in the meat of the level, which is the uh, indoor section, or cave section. It's called Jungle Land, but you spend, like, maybe a third of the level in the jungle. The rest is spent in this wonderful cave. Well, Jungle Land can have caves, I mean, especially if, if there are, um, you know, Europeans there. Oh, there's a new mechanic right there. Oh, that's the kind tongue of... swirl. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, it is actually. Uh, if you hold, if you attach yourself to something and you hold A, uh, you'll spin around it. Also, here we have infinitely spawning spiders. Oh, that's a lot of fun. That, that's not horrifying at all. <laughs> it's not. So, are In fact, when you... you probably have one of these under your bed right now. Uh, no, the cockroaches eat them. Oh. Anyway, if you destroy the infinitely spawning spider holes, you get crowns. So when you eat enemies, are you like spitting them out, or what is happening? Yeah, you spit them back out. It's just you instant. Can't swallow enemies. Okay. That, that that's how they got around uh, Nintendo's no Yoshi clone policy. Yes. Anyway, that orange heart is a douchebag, so we're not gonna get it. Because in uh, my test, in my test recording, uh, I actually went for it something like six or seven times and died every time. What is it? Because the floor under it collapses immediately. It's very annoying. What does it do for you? Uh, it heals you. But oh. I didn't really need it, I just wanted it. Oh, of course. Why would you not want an orange heart? Anyway, there's a pole over there. It's really hard to get. <laughs> Great game design. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not a very well designed game. I think you should have go. I think you should have fast forwarded a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you fast forward your sass? I'm sorry, my, my sass is on autopilot. I was like... Where do I go? There we go. Yeah, so we're safe now. Oh no, we're not. We hit the door frame. Well, at least you keep the crown, I guess. Yeah. Oh, one thing to note, you can grab hearts with your tongue, but you can't grab crowns. So why, so wait. Your tongue. Then why would you not grab the orange heart with your tongue instead because of... Because I'm stupid. Oh, okay. J just checking. Anyway, you'll wake up these golems, and then uh, infinitely spawning spiders will appear. Each golem looks intimidating, but they only have one hit point, so it doesn't actually matter. I believe you actually woke up the rocks, is the thing. Mm. And then they decided to turn into golems, because they were angry at you for waking them up. That's fair. Uh, anyway, we have the hedgehog pit down there, but we're just gonna it's, avoid it's like, it. It's like some weird hedgehog army, they're just like... Yeah, <laughs> they're like doing... they're like stepping. Yes. Anyway, there's I'm... a gold there's a gold heart down there which will fully restore you, but who cares? They they're hedgehog stepping. Yeah. Which is also one of my favorite dance moves. We go over here to see if there's anything and there's just a crown that we can't get. I don't know why that platform is there. Well it literally serves no purpose. You must be able to get the crown. Well you can. But you get it a different way. Oh, okay. Anyway, super exciting minecart sequence right here. Is this some Donkey Kong Country ass shit? <laughs> it's like Donkey Kong Country if Donkey Kong Country was reasonable. <laughs> yes, by by making it brain dead simple. Yes, exactly. I, that's how I like my game. Actually, no, this game gets really stupid hard later. Anyway, so to get to the crown, you have to go all the way on this plank, all the way to the end. And then to get back, you just go backwards, so I don't know why that other platform exists. I, I, I bet you pro speedrunners can jump over there and then skip all the Minecraft... Mine, Minecraft crap. Yeah, that's what I was trying I've to say. I've watched a speedrun of this game, and I don't think he did that. So. Well, he wasn't a very good speedrunner, then. I don't know if it's possible. Anyway, there's our last crown, and we're here for the boss fight. Ooh, what's it gonna be? Oh, it is Donkey Kong! Uh, actually... Uh, this boss is called the Lizard King. Why is he called the Lizard King? Uh, I really don't know. <laughs> I, I, anyway, so butterflies will constantly appear, and you have to shoot him at him when he's uh, unstable, like when he's standing up on two legs, to shove him off the uh, cliff. It's uh, all very exciting. Yes, I've, I've heard of that boss design before. Anyway, so, uh, there we go. Oh, yay! We almost got hit by the butterflies, but then it flew <laughs> out, so who cares? And then... Ah! He is filled by his own boulder. Voiced by his own heart. 
so so you didn't actually do anything. It's all the boulder that did it. Yeah. Please. Congratulations, first time. Yes, it was my first time since. So anyway, so we get a little crown next to Jungle Land, saying that we've uh, gone twenty crowns, and now we get the choice of going to Ant Land or Bomb Land. And we're gonna go to Ant Land next because it's technically stage two, but Yay. Bomb Land is also has the bombs. Anyway. <laughs> That's it's chameleon twist at it's, level one. It's the bomb, yo. It is the bomb. Anyway, that's uh, basically it. So we'll see you next time for Antland. Good night, everybody. Good night.